Throughout the years, many scientists have contributed to the discovery and the makeup of the atom. But most importantly, Albert Einstein, John Cockcroft, and Ernest Walton were some major contributors to these discoveries. Albert Einstein was born in Württemberg, Germany on March 14, 1879. He began schooling at the Leopold Gymnasium in Munich, Germany on October 1, 1888. One of his fellow peers, Max Tolman, introduced Einstein to scientific and philosophical writings in the fall of 1889. And in the December of 1894, Einstein dropped out of the gymnasium and moved to Milan where his family were. In the year 1895, he was accepted into the Aral Cantono School in Aral, Switzerland, after he failed his entry exam to the Zurich Polytechnic due to an abdominal aortic aneurysm. He died in Princeton in New Jersey on April 18, 1955. Using his theory of quanta, Einstein explained the photoelectric effect. He showed that when quanta of light energy strikes atoms in the metal, quanta forces the atoms to release electrons. His work helped justify the quanta theory and the photoelectric cell was created. This device made possible sound motion pictures, television, and many other inventions. Einstein received the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics for his paper on quanta. The work of Planck and Einstein quickly established the quantum theory, not only in light, but also in many forms of energy. The quantum physics was born. In 1905, Albert Einstein titled a paper, The Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies, where he presented the special theory of relativity. In this paper, he showed how the theory revealed the relativity of time, a previously unimaginable idea. Einstein's relativity theory revolutionized the way the scientific world was shaped with completely new conceptions of time, space, mass, motion, and gravitation. His famous equation, E equals mc squared, became the base in the development of atomic energy. German physicist Max Planck introduced the quantum theory to the world of science. Einstein added on to the work of Max Planck. Planck had been working on an effect called black body radiation. The black body does not reflect the light and takes in all the energy of lighting falling into it. Planck stated that the light was not continuous waves of energy. He said the energy of light existed as a stream of tiny particles he called quanta. Later the light particles became known as the photon. The Maxwell's electromagnetic waves and theory of light could not explain the photoelectric effect. However, as explained before, Einstein's photoelectric effect was effective. In 1896, Einstein entered the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich to be trained as a teacher in physics and mathematics. In 1901, the year he gained his diploma, he acquired the Swiss citizenship. In 1905, he obtained his doctor's degree. 1914, he was appointed the director of Kaiser Wilhelm Physical Institute. John D. Cockroft was born on May 27, 1897 in the United Kingdom. He was born into an English family active in the cotton industry. Cockroft studied mathematics and electrotechnical engineering in Manchester with a break for military service during World War I. After working for a couple years in electrotechnology, he came to Cambridge in 1924. Among other things, Cockroft started the Cavendish Laboratory there. During World War II, he worked on developing radar. After the war, he worked primarily within the UK Atomic Energy Authority. John Cockcroft married in 1925 and had four daughters and a son. He died on September 18, 1967. Following service with the Royal Field Artillery in World War I, Cockcroft joined Metropolitan Vickers, an engineering company, which sent him back to the University of Manchester to study electrical engineering. Ernest Walton was born on October 6, 1903 at Dungarvan, Ireland. He was the son of a minister in which his father was demanded to move from place to place every now and then. In this, he attended many different schools. In 1915, Walton was sent to Belfast College where he excelled in mathematics and science. In 1922, he entered Trinity College, specialized in physics and having honors classes in mathematics and experimental science. Walton then graduated in 1926 and died at 92 of natural causes on June 25, 1995. Walton built a mechanism that showed how light elements react to a bombardment of protons. He bombarded a piece of lithium with fast particles with high voltage, then split that lithium into alpha particles, which he described as twinkling stars. This was the first experiment where the atom was split. John Cockroft and Ernest Walton developed a device, an accelerator, to generate more penetrating radiation. Using a strong electric field, protons were accelerated to high velocities. 
In 1932, they bombarded lithium with protons, causing their nuclei to split and producing two alpha particles.